talk about buzzkill mm. and then over the bridge and then on your right hand side i think we need to go over here you love the smell of the evergreens yeah. you gotta slow down always in bloom now this is beautiful please do not slip <laughs> or as i like to say they're a 10. that's what we're gonna do next but you're more up close and personal maybe nine and a half Friday night, we decided to uh, decided to hit that bump back there. <laughs> decided to eat at home, and we're gonna treat ourselves to uh, an ice cream place that is a favorite in the area called Morton's Moo. All the reviews look amazing, sound amazing. Must be amazing then. Must be amazing. Talk about buzzkill. Mm. Closed until further notice. Bye, ice cream. Mm. But we got a backup plan. We do? We're going to Walmart. Oh. Oh, contraire, we do have a backup plan. It's I called Helen's. So they had blueberry pie here that's supposed to be award-winning blueberry pie. But the lady, our waitress, said that this coconut cream mm -hmm. was extremely good. Mm -hmm. Michelle, of course, loves coconut cream, so she had to try it. That's good. Is it? What's the rating on the pie? Nine. A nine? Coconut nine. Is it Sherman's Deli a nine or is it a nine and a half? That's probably a nine and a half. That's still the top of the bar. But this one's a close. Very close. I tasted it. I'm coming back for blueberry pie next time. <laughs> That's supposed to be really good. All right, off to Walmart. Acadia National Park and uh, Cadillac Mountain. Full day. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Not bad, honey. It's pretty good. Well, yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. This is a map of Mount Desert Island where Acadia National Park is located and Bar Harbor. So we're going to be coming in on this Highway 3 from Ellsworth and then we're gonna cross this little bridge. Well, I don't know, it could be big. <laughs> it looks little on the map. Um, and then we'll be on At this the right, side. turn right onto High Street. Um, so I think we need to go over here. Right after you pass the Narrows 2, that's the uh, Thousand Trails place on core whatever it is yeah and over the bridge, bridge and then over the bridge and then on your right hand side it's not a visitor center but it says information so we're going to run in here real quick just to uh see if we can pick up a few tips recommended us to go at the information center is uh, Eagle Lake area parking. All right, here we are, Acadia National Park. We're going to give the e-bikes a try. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. You love the smell of the evergreens, yeah. the pines. Where you're going, Me too. You can rest your head. Where you're going, brightness looks.
gotta get going Easy now You gotta get going Easy now Somehow good, you can hear somebody down there. Take a little break. Pretty nice shaded area. We got our babbling brook. If 
you're not using an app, uh, like a map app on your phone, a map app? Uh, the, the map that they give you, uh, something we figured out not too long ago, we were just following, you know, the next right turn is where we want to go or whatever. But if you look on these points here, the little numbers like, like this the, 18 and the 19 corresponds with the number 18 on the pole. Yeah. So that'll verify where you're at. Right. I'm always in always in blue. Think that tree has a bad case of black knot. Something. Wowzers. <laughs> Think you ate something a little too big there, tree. dragonfly what? it was like going <laughs> and i was like <laughs> did it make that same noise too it did did it always in let's see we put on it was around 20 miles yeah Not over i think yeah we put uh, just about as many miles on today and we have since we've owned them <laughs> yes we forgot to look exactly what time we started, but we're figuring it was probably right around four hours, you think? I think it's been about four, yeah. yeah. You guys ever see these uh, parking machines where you pay by play? Use the app, it's so handy. Look for Park Mobile app, and uh, like if you have an Apple phone, you can just do Apple Pay. It's really, really slick. It uses your location, you pick the number that's on the top, like that one's a 7112 that gives you uh works through your location services really slick really quick we are on a time crunch today so we're just gonna pick this first place we see here called patty's at a three and a half star good enough right on the corner patty's what is it reuben uh corned beef Corn beef. It's really shaped brisket. I think. Ah, I just got my usual burger with a gluten-free bun. <laughs> Looks good though. All right, I'm gonna do this really quick. Seven and a half. Mine was a seven and a half. It was really good. So what's the name of this place? Um, it's an overlook. <laughs> Schooner. Schooner overlook? Schooner head overlook, I think. But what if I don't want to overlook? I want to look over. Oh. Can I do that? Sure. Okay, I'm going to look over. If you come down here, you don't want to overlook it. You want to look it over. If you overlook it, you're gonna miss it. True. So why is it called an overlook? No, you wanna look over. Look over there, there's the view. Don't overlook it. <laughs> there's nothing over there. We pulled over here to go to a place called Sand Beach. She has to read every sign. Not every sign. Oh, you heard me? That's called Old, old Soaker, whatever that means. Old Soaker? Yeah. Okay. It does, doesn't it? Minus the wind. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, no kidding. Now this is beautiful. I don't know if you heard her, but Michelle was saying this reminds her of Oregon. It really does. <laughs> she said minus the wind. It was always so windy there on the coast. Yeah. This is really pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, he checked something for me. Is my thong stuck? <laughs> <laughs>
So this is a uh, one-way road, but it has two lanes. In only certain areas, you'll, ha you'll see signs that allows you to park on the right-hand side and some that don't. This area is supposed to be called Thunder Hole, but we might be parked down a little bit too far from the... Yeah, the is right. Please do not slip. We're wondering if the uh, the tide is out. No thunder in the hole today. Low tide. Low tide, but it was still pretty. You need me to, I didn't know if you need me to pull. Oh my goodness. Hi, Hi, little girl. I'm three years old. I believe that. You need parked, a hand? You parked it in a ditch. Me in a ditch. Better than a thunder hole. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my cookie. kind of quiet right now but this is the Jordan house Jordan pond house and apparently we got here and it's closed but we can kind of look around to see what the what it looks like we usually have a courtyard over here with their tables that you can eat a restaurant area we're gonna move on yep Hoping we can get a sunset. I don't know. Kind of cloudy, but it looks like it's breaking up over there. We might have some really cool colors. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. We got some pretty colors back there for a sunset. Mm -hmm. Not what we were hoping for, but it's still pretty. You can see the lights down there. I don't know if you can see them or not, of Bar Harbor. It's like a teeny tiny little village. Yeah, pretty cool. And we've got a bunch of area up here where everybody's walking on these rocks. Pretty. We're going to Bar Harbor or Bahaba, or as I like to say, the Haba of Ba. Michelle just loves these little areas like this with all these little shops, don't you? I do. Why I, do you? You know what I love more? What's that? Coffee that I don't have right now. All right. Well, I usually make coffee in the mornings, but we wanted to hurry up and get here and we figured we would just get it when we got here and now it's almost noon so when you're coming from down the uh with up the harbor area and you cut across this little park right here 
And then the eating place is gonna be right over here. I have not seen you go so fast since track in high school. <laughs> Whatever. Still wasn't that fast. I mean, she was fast, but you know, but not, not that fast. Cafe this way. Did we go the right way? I had to go inside and get her a coffee to go while we're waiting for our seat. It was not good. Here you go, honey. Oh, my hero. Oh. Thank you. You look so much more happier now. Right. Is it okay to put my arm here? For now, yeah. Okay. Lightly. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> Oh, look, honey, you got a window open with those flowers right there. Yeah, oh, look, these blueberries are about as big as those ones we saw at that shop. I got what's called the Harvey corned beef hash. And uh, you got. I got the country breakfast, which is uh, eggs, uh, a meat, and potatoes, and then. Blueberry pancake. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. Priorities. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, blueberry uh, pancake. Right, I substituted the toast for the blueberry pancake because we heard rave reviews about it. And we'll make or, uh, pure, <laughs> pure maple syrup. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is a gluten free toast that they have as well. He said the, their gluten free French toast was really, really good. That was tempting. All right, well, that was a really good place. Very. Highly recommend. Blueberry pancakes, huh? Oh my god. They're a 10. They're, now they're wow. not. Wow. Well, you've yeah. never given anything I a know. 10. Well, okay, nine and a half, because I've never given Sherman's Deli coconut cream pie even a 10. So, <laughs> nine and a half. True. But they're, just so you know, they're not very big and they're thin, but oh my god, the taste. Blueberry pancakes. Yeah. The amazing, like sweetness, perfection, <laughs> not tart in any way. <sighs> All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Yeah. How was your corned beef hash? Corned beef hash was good. I'm giving mine eight, eight and a half for a good breakfast place. I'm gonna go eight and a half. Yeah. Well, since I gave the pancakes the nine and a half, mine was probably because it was a country breakfast, but right. um, maybe an eight, uh, nine overall. Okay. You hold the camera. I'm gonna go shopping. <laughs> if you want to no. keep talking. No. We'll, but, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> He's crazy. But I, ver I heard that. A average pricing, too, so not even overpriced at all. And their service was excellent. So, what we're going to do here this morning is we're going to turn around and we're going to walk all the way back down at the, the bottom of the hill there. At the Haba. <laughs> the Haba of Ba. And uh, then we're going to start there, kind of show you around, um, do a little tour. And she's going to do some shopping. I might too. It's 64 degrees right now. 64 degrees. I had to put my little light jacket on. All right, we're down close to the water here. Hey, Ollie's trolley. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of nice that you don't have that sun bearing down on you, but... And it's not humid no, or but hot. I kind of like the sunny days, though. <laughs> it's a lot of hotels, places to stay. You'll see them everywhere. Very nice hotel over there called West Street Hotel. I read that um, a lot of the old names, uh, rich people like Rockefellers and Fords and Astors back in the day, mm -hmm. um, summered here. And then summered they, here? Yeah, and then they built like mammoth mansions and stuff. Yeah. And then um, there was a big fire in like, I think 1947 that uh, hit a lot of the million dollar street area that a lot of those mansions were on. And the ones that are left are now turned into like bed and breakfasts or inns hmm. or some hotels maybe even. Huh. Interesting. This is the restaurant we ate at yesterday that was pretty good, called Patty's. It's part of the hotel. If you need to use the restroom, just saying. They have one back uh, between Patty's and the store down there with the green facade. 
and uh, it's down the hallway, back and around. Very clean. Just saying, may have used it like three or four times already. <laughs> Also down here by the water area um, where they have the cruises, the whale cruises and that. Back behind here, come down the side here. It kind of looks like you're not supposed to come down here, but you can. Um, and then right here, there's public restrooms in here. We walked way down here to the corner um, where you can kind of not go any further except for going over here by this hotel, which we'll take a walk over there. And uh, this is uh, a hard place to find a parking spot in here. Pretty much everywhere he is here in Bar Harbor. Right, yeah. But this is a nice place to park where we, we parked here yesterday. And where are we again? You got it. <laughs> the Haba Aba. Okay. That is cool. That's what we're going to do next. What? After RVing. If we can afford it. Taking donations now to get one of these. So what do you think, honey? You like this area better than Mackinac Island? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I was telling Michelle last night. We 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 asked each other that like two or three times yesterday, yeah. and we kept going back and forth because they're so different. They are different. Um, when we went to Acadia National Park, the nice thing about Acadia, the views were a little different than when we took the truck and drove through. Mm -hmm. The truck, I think, it has some better views. Yeah, better shoreline views. But there's something about when you take bikes and you're going through. You got some beautiful views. Um, but you're more up close and personal. You're right in the center of Acadia National Park. And you would get a nice view every now and then when you come to an overlook or a clearing. But mm -hmm. it's just a peacefulness. Yes. you just. And there's no vehicles. It's just bicycles or people walking. Yeah. Or a horse. But just something that sticks with your heart mm -hmm. and your memory mm -hmm. a little Definitely. bit more. I'm doing that. So we're glad we did that. And we're also glad we got in the truck and drove around too. Right. I think you need to do both. So back to, is this better than Mackinac? You can't say. That's, um, there, I think our two favorite places so far may be yes. these two. At yeah. least that's the way we feel right now. But it's hard to pick one or right. the other because they, each place we go, they all have their own beauty that cannot be compared with anything else yeah. because... They're a gem. It's specific to those places. This place here has an amazing blueberry pie crisp, I think it is. Shall try these cookies, oatmeal raisin, amazing. Gluten-free blueberry crisp. We were amazed how good that was. In fact, there's one there with our name on it. Just one left, you wanna get it? This place is supposed to have amazing ice cream right here. If you come here, you gotta go to this place. We came last night and the line came out this door and down the sidewalk. Hey, Eddie. How's it going? Can I get a fist bump? Here, she wants you to give her a treat, I think. <laughs> treat? You want a treat? And treat? Oh, yeah. You're a cool dog. vanilla bean mm -hmm. and lamington which was uh, coconut sponge cake and coconut flakes oh and fudge this lamington is definitely better than the vanilla bean again it's coconut fudge 
sponge cake. What are you doing? You're taking that from me. And coconut <laughs> flakes. Pretty good. So if you come on this trail, you can either come, come down as far as you want, or you can go all the way to the end, kind of where this jetty is, coming out from that island. If you run into the fence, you can take a right here and go back into town. And then you can walk town back down okay. and go past all the shops again. We did this on accident. So we're trying one more place before we go home. The place called Getty's. G-E-D-D-Y-S. It was recommended by a local here. Uh, fun little place. It's supposed to have good food. Gluten free. Looks yummy. We are at Union River Lobster Pot again. We've decided to give this place another shot because we figured that the, uh, we think the lobster, from what we've heard, the lobster was actually cooked a little too long last time. So we figured we would give it another shot here. So, here we go. No fake eyes this time. Huh? I don't have any fake eyes on mine this time. How about you? Pie Girl's at it again. Oh, yeah. Blueberry pie. And it's like so amazing, right? It is. So she had to have it twice. I did. I love the little blueberries. They're teeny tiny. You want to see it go down your esophagus. Is it still as good as it was before? It's definitely at least a nine. Really? Oh, my goodness. It was nine and a half. Bite. Union River Lobster Pot. It is a definite must. We gave it a second shot and apparently when they were so busy they kind of overcooked our lobsters the first time we were here. Second time, night Perfect. and day difference. Yes. <sighs> we're so full. So and, good. And, and that, the blueberry pie. That's what I was going to say. Still awesome. Nine. Nine rating. Maybe nine and a half. I don't know. This is so dang good. <laughs> I ate the filling and that was like really, really good. Very Did good. you know, fun fact, that the blueberries in Maine are very, very small. That's the way they come. Tiny, tiny. We thought they purposely picked out all the little <laughs> ones to make the pies with, but that's the way they are in Maine. Michelle's hairstylist told her mm -hmm. that today. Full of flavor in that teeny tiny little blueberry. We're, full. We're so full. We gotta go home. And pow. <laughs> oh, how much weight we gained. Okay, let's go. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.